Hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time we're getting it all in Creepy Tale 2. This was developed by Creepy Brothers, published by No Gravity Games, and is usually available for £11.99 slash $14.99. But always have a check on the sale, um, as especially at the time of this recording, anyway, it went down to £3.59 slash $4.49. So always double check there. So this is the uh, second game. I've done the, I've already covered the first game and the third game. So now we're into Creepy Tale 2. Again, this is just another brilliant game uh, developed by the Creepy Brothers. We basically play, play as young Lars, whose sister uh, goes missing. So we basically got to find him. Uh, find her even um, yeah so that's that uh, in terms of achievements um, I got there's quite a lot of miscellaneous ones in this one uh, we do have to scream into four wells throughout the game um, and the only really one that may seem a little difficult we have to escape the sleepy kingdom in four minutes but we'll be getting that at the very end of the game anyway otherwise it's generally a nice easy enough game and it's another brilliant game i really enjoy the creepy tale series but we can get this done in around an hour and a half so with that being said then let, 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 let's do it So we are going to wake up, oh well we're already awake, but we are going to start playing as Lars and obviously you can have a little look, you can press the A button or the A, uh, or the X button um, in order to use actions um, with certain things and certain environments in the world. Um, now a lot of these I won't actually be bothering, we'll just be going straight for what we need to do in order to get the game done rather enjoyably. So first of all we're going to head downstairs, so go to the stairs, press the A button, nip downstairs. Um, we're going to have a little conversation with our sister here, old Elness. And you can press the A button as well to skip the dialogue if you so prefer to wish. And once you've had the quickest conversation of your life, head to the right. Cupboard of foot. Sorry, I just really wanted uh, you to hear that because I genuinely love the way he says cabot of food. Anyway, head to the right. And just next to this hay stack, we're going to pick up our first item here, which is the teddy bear's body. Somebody's gone on the decapitating spree. Um, yes, it is the right bumper, I believe, to get your full bag inventory out. But we're going to head to the left. Um, you can see that the crow has the teddy bear head. Uh, but make sure to pick up the axe there from the tree as well. Because uh, we'll need that to chop some wood and we'll need it for our first achievement as well. So we're going to head back to the right, head back into the house. And then we're going to head all the way up the cabod of food. Uh, up the stairs, I meant. And then just to the right of the stair banister is the cheese, a little piece of cheese. So we'll pick up the old piece of cheese. In. It ain't easy being cheesy. And then we're going to head back down the stairs. To the right to head back outside and then we can head to the left now uh, in order to use said items what you need to do is get close to the thing that you want to use and then press the Y button so you can, you'll only press the right bumper if you want to combine some things but in order to actually use said item from your inventory you have to get close to the thing that you want to use it for Press the Y button and then use it from there. So obviously you need to get right underneath the crow until the prompt appears. Once it does, use the cheese and then he drops the cab odd of food. I mean the teddy bear head, sorry. Yeah, why do you keep saying cab odd of food? Right, once you drop that then, um, we can go back into the house. And then what we'll do is obviously go into our inventory bag. Oh, in fact, no. Yeah, we've got to we've got to put the the a cab odd key first. So head back up the stairs once you've spoken to Ellie, and just over to the right. Then again, go over to the cupboard, press the Y button to get the inventory out at the bottom, and then you can go ahead and use the key, and that'll get a little spindle on the old window going. And here we go. So open the backpack with the select button, not the right bumper button, sorry, with the uh, select button and then combine the teddy bear with the yarn, bowl of yarn or whatever you've got there. And then head back downstairs, talk to your sister and everybody's happy and that'll be game over. 
Or so you wish. Look who I found behind the haycart. Tell Teddy not to play with crowds again. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Son. Yes, father? It's meant to be a cold night. Right away, father. Alright then, so there we go, we got our next job, so we're going to head back outside. Now, what you need to do then is we need to grab three pieces of Lognus Bognus, so head to the right. And they're going to be directly in this area. Everything in the game should be exactly where they are on your screen. So there's two up on the top of the screen and one right in the middle of the path. Now, what you need to do then, make sure to not chop the wood. Uh, because we need to fall with an axe in hand more than ten times. So we'll head to the left. Head to the um, piece of stump that's already um, gone up. Put one of the log pieces down. Now just hold the A button. So don't let go. Just just hold the A button. And then what we'll do, what Lars will do is continuously doing this. So keep holding it. And then fall with the axe in your hand more than 10 times until the achievement unlocks. There it is, and then once it's done, yeah, you you press the A button and then the A button again to slap the axe down, and that's job done. So once you've gone in, um, go ahead, once you've done that, pick up the logs, go back into your house, speak to your old Farja. Done. Good job, son. <sighs> I finished chopping the firewood. To be fair, like, it's, uh, you know, what's Dad doing? He's just jerking off his gun there. That's what I think a lot of people do, don't they? They don't actually use the guns, they just jerk them off slightly. Um, oh, we're cleaning the guns while my 10-year-old son does all the hard work. Anyway, once you've gone into bed, it's all going to start kicking off, and the evil will appear. You think Daddy's wrestling a bit? Ah, oh, hell no, nah. that's some floating in whatever the hell that is. For it. You'll gain power. Come out. Uh... <laughs> ah, my whole body feels. Sh I am pleased to welcome you, sister. That's right. Excellent. Here, he's. Re I live in a tree. A house spirit? My dear Lars. Here, drink. Who attacked our. Oh, Lars. Evil has come to us with a certain diadem. A diadem? Dark magic. Marta, Dorothy, and now them. What do we do? How Did you see the giant with Marta? Ellie simply going in and taking Ellie go to the he lives and the and he's awfully in take him some of my very Thank you, Bakton. I'll be waiting for you. Right, so after that long introduction and the long conversation, uh, we get that piece of mouldy old uh, mushroom bread or whatever the hell that was. So we will now head off to the right-hand side and continue heading off to the right until Lars automatically stops at the tailor shop. And there everyone's like, huh, that kid's evil. Judging by the sign, this is the tailors. I hope they'll be happy to see. Right, so here we are then. And unfortunately, it's all a bit mashed up as well. So that ain't, that taint going well. So, a few things we're going to grab first. So, right by the side of you is, uh, in the door sticking out, is a claw. And then if we head over to the left-hand side, we can then pick up another item. 
And then if we head over to the right hand side, just close to where the table was, eventually there it is. We're going to pick up uh, a third item there. So that should be three. And also just on the floor, right in the middle of the room is the next one. So there should be four things that we've already grabbed. So head back outside. And then if we head to the right, and just on the window to the right of the door is a letter. Oh, the house spirit has this hideaway. It just sound like Greg Davis with his terrible Chris Eubank impression there, sorry. Um, if you're British, you will get that, by the way. So go ahead, uh, interact with the plank, and then you'll have to pull left on the D-pad, or the uh, left stick to pull it off. Then we're going to head to the left again. No, all the way left. No, all the way left. And then we can go ahead, go into your inventory by pressing the white button and use the claw on this happy sack to get a nice bit of rope going. And we're going to be doing some combining of the whining. Just without the whining, so just normal combining items then. This time head all the way to the right and then we will combine. Um, we're basically going to make a rope. So we're going to get the huge pin and we're going to use that with the... Yep, yeah, the yarn thing and then the rope with the anchor. And then once you have those two done, you can then use that rope anchor um, just on the top of us there. So we can get up to the roof and then head to the left of the roof. Mm -hmm. It's got a good hole. Oh, yes, of course. Put the, uh, put the plank down because you don't want to be whacking out your old ankles before we can go and save our sister. So when we get to the jug just underneath us then we're going to use that little fishing rod that we well our homemade invention the old fishing rod there um again certain things makes me believe that why couldn't he just climb up but there we go maybe he's not a climber he, instead of being a lover he's a fighter and he doesn't climber because he likes to anyway whatever the hell i'm going on about i don't know but once you got the jug climb back down head back into the tailor's house sorry my brain is <laughs> so far today head over to the right hand side uh over to the fireplace and use the claw on the fireplace that will rip open and then what we could do is um use the jar that we got or the mug whatever it is pour that into the bowl head back outside come back in and then we can finally get the key of kitty 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 All the scary stuff is over. So, there we go then. Once we have stolen the key from the cat, you naughty, naughty boy. Um, you actually need to use the key with the house, with the with the fireplace. And then once that's in, you can have another big conversation with little no man. Hello, I'm Lot. Is he... <coughs> Yes, he hid me when I was being chased. I have to save my Lars, your smartphone said you even my master. Remember, I tried to help. It seems the... Yes, they, the demon himself is harmless. Head east through... <coughs> but how am I supposed to defeat it? <coughs> Curses. I think he... Hell is being possessed by father. I... <laughs> Lars, you're going to find a way to load. Okay, little dead known man. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, pick the um, prosthetic hook off the old deadness bogness regis. Use it with the contraption in the middle of the room on the back wall right there. And it's a little bit of a puzzle that we've got to do. Oh, it's just coincidentally good, isn't it? So use the lever on the right hand side and then again to go up you'll need to push up on the left stick and to go down you'll have to press uh, down obviously. So go to the third one which is the blue one here and then go over to that one drag it and Lars will pull that down and again you have to do this in a specific order. So back on the lever you're going to head over to the uh, right and then just the right once, and then grab the ring down. So pop that one on. 
And then grab the lever again. This time we're going to go all the way over to the left. So the very, very left. And we'll go down twice. So it's on the bottom left-hand corner. And again, grab the very left-hand side ring. And then grab the lever again. And then we're going to head up. And then to the right. And then that will do. Grab that ring. And that will get the ladder going like a ring sting bing wing. Chicken wing. Hmm. Hmm. Could go for about 30 chicken wings right now. I don't know about you guys. Anyway, here is the king and that guy from Hot Fuzz who goes, Yarp and Narp. That's why I'm here. Monsters attack my house. Ah, oh, misfortune. Someone crept in. They're attacking the town too. The you are better informed than my- Your Majesty, my name- All I know is that the evil- I'm going back- Your words and deeds- I'm willing to do- I beseech you. Find my daughter. But- Here, this is- Alright. My carriage is waiting up. Go. Um- Off with you! Great deed. Wait. Many days. Thank you, my king. Ah, oh, bruh. I'm only ten or so. I, I, I gotta find my sister. Now I gotta find the king's daughter as well. Gee. I better get paid well for this. Anyway, you see this well right here? Make sure to interact with that. There are four wells, as I said at the beginning of the video. Four wells that we need to scream down. Yoo-hoo! Hilariously. And this is the first one out of four anyway. Right, so continue on heading to the right. We're going to pick this first fruit off the tree. And then you can see this big idol. He's going to be handy for an achievement in just a bit. But continue heading to the right past the hut. And what we're going to do is use the dagger. Um, so we will combine the... Uh, oh, in fact, yeah. So we'll knock the door, first of all. And then uh, give this spider thing the mushroom cake. That's what we're doing. As uh, a specific reason, we're doing this. So once he has eaten that, uh, that'll basically keep him nice and happy. He'll leave the door open for longer. But go into your inventory, combine the knife with the... Uh, fruit to get a strange seed and then we can put that strange seed in the left hand side little mark of the tree that'll get a lever going now interact with the lever until as you can see it goes on the light shining goes on specific ones we need to do it until it hits the one fruit that is lit up so once you can see the magic popping off the one lit fruit leave it for now head to the left and we'll get a whole bunch of things going in the house um, well, in just a minute, anyway. But what we're going to do first, we're going to um, interact with the tree. We're going to put the knife into the tree. Sorry to stab you square in the old uh, the old tree nuts right there, but there we go. So we've grabbed the fruit. It's what we need. And now we can head all the way back to the right. Back to where the spiderling, treeling, sapling, broski ging was. And again, combine the knife with the fruit in order to get the strange seed out. Pop that into the other side of the tree. Eventually, there it is. Yep. Yeah. Just on the right-hand side. And then what we're going to do from here, we're going to open up and knock the door quickly until so it opens up. And then quickly use the right lever so that the strange seed will just floop down straight in our possession. We the kings and queens, yo. Ah, yeah. Right. Head over to the left-hand side anyway. Now that we've got our seed. Our big strange seed. Go into that, the hut. Or the house or the hut for the first time. And just off to the right, we need to put that strange seed in to the lamp in order to get a bit of, well, light. That makes obvious sense, doesn't it? Interact with the right-hand side puzzle. And then what you're going to do, um, we need to just put in a specific code. It'll be the same every time. So the first one is going to be... What looks like the number two, so two lines. Then it's going to be the diamond. Then it's going to be the dot. And then finally, it'll be the triangle. So two lines, diamond, dot, triangle. Ada! 
like magic potion mans. Anyway, grab said the said magic potion. Um, head to the left, don't go outside, but we're going to grab an item there from the left-hand side, pick that up, and then we're going to head to the left. It was the shovel that we grabbed, sorry. Next up, we are going to go ahead and use the sprinkling magic potion on the wooden idol. And he's going to talk very funnily. Ah, oh, boy, thank you very much, boy. Oh. boy. Now I can speak again. Who are you? I am but the part of a live dwarf. Shira, you create... No, enough. That's sad. Boy, spring... Where can I find... The old... Okay, right. So, what we'll do now, head to the left slightly, back to the tree with now no fruit. Use the shovel on the tree with no said fruit. And... Ta-da again. We have another bit of magic potion. This one will actually make him walk. So, let's go ahead and get an achievement in just a bit. Uh, head to the left, first of all. And then use your shovel again, just on the area. It's pretty obvious what you're looking at, and it comes up with a prompt anyway. So once you've done that, there is a key on this set of skeleton bones. So grab the key, head over to the right. And we're going to head into the hut once more. Once inside the hut, head over to the right slightly, and in the middle of the room is another item that we can pick up. Um, but for now, uh, we're going to open up the closet door on the right-hand side. And we have a, three wooden idols that we're going to need. So, yes, he is going to help us out eventually, but not quite yet. So, pop him out anyway. Head over to the left, back through the door. Now we're going to get the achievement. So, what we're going to do is pour the green liquid vial on the wooden idol. Thank you, boy. I suppose you know. <sighs> oh man, what a cheeky git. Okay, so he killed us, but this is where we're going to get the achievement. Go back to the right, pour the same green little sprinkly liquid on him. He's going to kill us again, but that is what is going to get us the achievement. Uh, talk to me. So it's to sprinkle the dead water on the idol after he's already killed us once. You know... As in, learn your lesson, bro. Never trust anyone who has a mustache like that. No offense to anyone who has a mustache like that. Or who looks like a wooden idol. Never trust a, a speaking wooden idol, yes. All right, so go back into the hut here. We got, we're now going to sprinkle the dead water on these wooden idols. Uh, but we just have to spend a couple of minutes. So what we're going to do, we're going to sprinkle the dead water on. The idol will appear. Then we're going to go back out of the hut... Head to the right-hand side and push him in the water. And we're going to do this for all three of the idols. So it's going to take a couple of minutes. So, you know, just enjoy the, well, creepy tail scenery. While, you know, doing the things anyway that you've still got to do.
So apparently they served their purpose well. I mean, all he literally had to do was... It doesn't look deep at all, Lars. You could have literally just skipped, hopped, and jumped your way through that. But, uh, you know, why not kill off three wooden troops who were just alive for a couple of seconds? Lars going for a uh, pure pure uh, penis sausage move right there. Not very good. Anyway, now we are into Hansel and Gretel-style type witch kingdom. I'm, starv I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. Don't you know she's starving? I heard a noise at- Hello, Granny. Come in, boy. Come in. I- Ah, come on, stupid witch lady. You could have at least let us just uh, chuck a pie down her throat, innit? Nice full belly. Okay, then we'll smash her over the head. Bruh. I'm starving. Anyway, after we've woken up and we've spoken to who def what definitely doesn't resemble Hansel and Gretel in the slightest, of course, um, we are going to need to, um, well, do a couple of things. Now, what I should mention is once you pick up an item... Uh, even if you get caught and you start back at the sort of beginning again, uh, not the beginning of the level, but just the beginning of whatever you are, again, if you pick up an item, that item stays picked up. So um, you could literally just go straight there, pick up the item, get caught by the witch, and then just carry on with the level if it's easier for you. So uh, just continue heading to the right all the way to the end, then the left, and then the right again. And then eventually that will somehow... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's somehow release us. Job done. There is an achievement here for trying two different keys on the locked kids as well. So bear that in mind. But for now, head over to the left. Now, the witch will always have the same routine. So pick up the key off the wall. Uh, old granddad, granddad no legs there at the top will always ring the bell. Once that happens, she'll nip upstairs and go and give him some of that soupy broth. Uh, so for now, just head all the way to the right once she's upstairs. Grab the knife from the... A bookcase, open up the door, and head outside it. So we basically got two ways we can go in, not that we ever use them. Uh, so, first of all, use the key. Um, obviously, it's not going to work, and we'll need a second set of keys to do this for the picklock achievement. Right, so head all the way back to the left, and head back into the house again. Like I said, the witch will always have the same... Uh, steps, the same routine, so once she's done finished uh, feeding Grandad No Legs, who takes a little nap, she puts the ball back on to the right, she'll head downstairs. Now, you could have done this a little bit easier, better, and sneakier than I did, but I went up the stairs. We need to grab the bowl, which is on the small table, just to the right. Um, but for some reason, I decided to hide, and then when she's coming up the stairs, then I decided to come back out. That was just real stupid of me. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, what you need to do there is just wait until she goes back upstairs, feeds Grandad, then go and grab the bowl. But as I said, because I'd already collected the bowl, as you can see at the top right there, the bowl has been collected. So, uh, yeah, bit of a wiener way that i just done that. But, uh, you know, whatever it is, uh, man, we weaned it up. It's all wienering good now. We got the bowl. Could be a clean or a dirty way to get it, but we got it done. So once that's done, head outside, head all the way to the right we're going to go all the way to the right past... Oh, in fact, no, we're going into the little hut first. My apologies. Three specific items we're grabbing here. Two water cans. One is to change the colour, and the other one is to change the leaves. You'll see what I mean in just a bit. Head over to all the way to the left-hand side to pick up some rough leather gloves. And you can actually use this key um, to try and figure out the next puzzle. Um, it's basically... When, remember when we went into the house for the first time, there was a picture um, hanging on the wall of like a bird and a pitchfork and stuff. Uh, they had different colours on them, and this is the paper, so basically just have to get the different colours and yeah. But I'm just going to tell you anyway. So what we're going to do then, uh, head over all the way to the right first, use a knife in order to get a thorn off, stick that somewhere painful. And then what we need to do is press the white button next to this branch. Now again, the... The one water colour cooler colour thing will change the colours and we have to get specific ones. So the first leaf will be, um, it's going to be red ones. So once 
these particular leaves are red, use the rough leather gloves in order to pick them up. Then use the other normal looking water can to change the leaves. So it was the red leaf first. And then use the water color changer water color. And this time we're going to be grabbing a blue. Uh, so this is the color. Once it's blue, use the rough leather gloves as well. Again. And then just use the um, uh, blah, blah, blah. change the leaf again. And then use the water one. And this time we're going green. Now I know the yellow one looked green, but it's the sort of darker looking one. This one right here. This is the green uh, for this particular leaf. So use the rough leather gloves again. And then once again, use the other water container in order to get the leaves changing. And then the watercolor one to put it to yellow. Or what to me looked green, but it's actually yellow. Um, but again, my eyes with colors are a bit, you know, they're a bit ding dong king monged up to be honest uh, i'm not the best in all fairness uh but once you know you know you got it right when lars says oh have i actually made a poison fantastic and it's funny because i thought lars was just a posh english person first but turns out it wasn't so once you got the poison obviously you would have got it from the bowl that we picked up earlier on head back into the house wait again until old uh, miss trunchbull has gone upstairs um, we can't actually put it in the cup just yet, uh, but what we can do is put the thorn on the chair. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Pop the thorn on the chair. Wait until she goes up, um, upstairs and goes to feed Grandad No Legs. Once she has, we are going to head up the steps. You can then hide in the left-hand side barrel here. Man, what a life Grandad No Legs has got. That's just... Although he does start walking with his stumps, so he's just extra lazy. Which is just terrible. So, once Miss Trunchbull Witch has decided to head back downstairs, even though she could probably see a big fat head sticking out of the barrel, but she doesn't care, head over to the big soupy stew, use the poison on it, and then we can just go ahead, head, go to the left-hand side and just wait until um, he starts spitting it out, and then the door will shut. Somehow, big old granddad no legs could not taste the poison in there, which, I mean, he looks pretty, he's mashed up, that kid. He's got no taste buds anyway, is he? Right, so once, uh, once Miss Trunchbull then heads back downstairs, quickly jump out, and then we're going to head downstairs. You've got to do this quite quick. Head to the left, use the poison on the cup, and then quickly run back upstairs before she catches us, and that'll be Death Town, baby! And for some reason, the thorn was just a prank, just gives her the extra bit of poison up the butt so I suppose if you want to poison someone doing it up the butt is the um, yeah yeah is the orifice to go so once she has been poisoned and dead grab the key remember don't go back upstairs head over out to hand to the right hand side and then try and use this key with the kids which will give us the pick lock achievement this is none of the save yourself for hold on a little Okay, right, so we're coming up to the end of the area now. We're going to head back into the house. Don't worry, um, she's got a thorn up her butt, so she's good. Now, uh, use the keys to open up the door. Again, if you did this before trying to get um, open up the keys for the kids, uh, the achievement will be missed, and you have to do this whole section again. Grab the item there off the left-hand side. Now, when Grandad No Legs catches us, quickly use the knife on him. That'll slice off his hands. Apparently, that won't make a difference. And then Lars will just stick it square in his gulliver. And, uh, well, that's the end of that chapter. Literally, because once we're done, we got Thornbutt and we got Grandad No Hands, as well as No Legs No. But uh, use the correct keys on the kids. Hansel and Gretel stay, and we'll be on our way to the right hand side. Can stay. Not a bad idea. Safe travels.
So we've got the well, uh, the second well out of four. So we're going to give it another little woohoo. Uh oh, got some spooky stuff going on. Right, they're trying to get after an animal. We're not going to let that happen, right? So, grab the knife, which is hanging around uh, just by the ladder right there. Then head to the left. Use the knife on the light, and that will get the spooky unicorn bear horse thing. I don't know, whatever the hell that is. Uh, well, he'll just float over to the right-hand side. Now, uh, he's, that's what he's going to exactly start doing. He's going to be going right and left. So obviously, you know, try not to get caught, and that would be the uh, obvious thing right there. So head to the right. As soon as he starts nipping off to the right, we are now going to head down. Oh, no, we got to wait until he comes back to the left. Sorry, to the right. Sorry, I, uh, for some reason, my rights and lefts are getting a bit uh, <laughs> stinked up. But once he goes to the left past the little girl, we're going to immediately climb down the stairs and then run off to the right and hide in a bush. So drop down, and actually before hiding in that bush, interact with this second tree looking branch, quickly use your knife on it, and then continue on to the right and hide in this bush here. And then we've got to wait now until the monster bro just goes to the right of us so we can run back to the left and head back up the steps. For some reason, when you're running on the ground, he does seem to come a little bit quicker. Anyway, use the rope on the uh, right-hand side branch. And then we can pick up the jar. Make sure to pick up the jar. Now, I did, um, which is just at the top of the ladders right there. So, what we were, what I was going to do is pick up the jar, tie it to the end of the rope, and then quickly jump back up before Monster Bro comes back to the left. But I've had to do it in a bit of a weirder order because I messed that one up. So, uh, apologies about that. But once you've done that... Put the jar at the end, and then we'll just have to we'll have to wait for him now. In fact, you can actually pick it up now. So yeah, so go ahead, pick up the jar, and then all we got to do is wait for him to start coming back to the right, and then press the A button in order to swing it down. And uh, well, that'll meet the girl's untimely end, as it were. <laughs> Bruh, that genuinely looked painful on all sides right there, on all parts. Uh, but anyway, head to the left and speak to the, I mean, whatever the hell that's supposed to be, the raccoon. You're probably wondering to yourself if you're Lars, did my dad put something in my coffee this morning? Why am I drinking coffee at 10 years old, bro? Uh, anyway, so what we'll do, we are going to, um, yeah, interact with the girl. This is the little princess. This is the king's daughter. I mean, not no more, she ain't. But, yeah, so that's unfortunate. You, you, as Lars, killed the king's daughter. So, technically, that's treason, right? He's not going to know that, though. So, well, yeah. Anyway, head over to the right, interact with the boat. And then interact to the left to um, grab the, or speak to the raccoon. Weird raccoon hippie thing. And then you can go ahead, grab the princess, and basically put her in the water. The what does always demand a sacrifice. To get it, the boat, it's just... Oh, it's you. I think you're... Vi
And now we head into what is probably, it's a great game, but this is probably the worst part of the game. It wasn't my favorite anyway, the Sleepy Kingdom. Mm. I'm delighted to welcome it. I'll buy it you all. Thank you. You've Forgive my curious. I need to find a cave and f hmm, I suppose you know where it is? Only a desperate the road there is long. I will be glad rest now. People say all to our please do us a I think I really need please follow me. Make yourself at home. Thank you again. I'll as you wish. Although I suppose if we could all live in a sleepy kingdom, oh, that would be, oh, what a life that would be. I know we're all jealous of those owls. Anyway, so what we're going to do first then, we're going to head to the left and then ever so slightly and then start heading up. And then what we're going to find is like these big balls of light that we can step on. So there's the first one then. So it should be, yeah, slightly left, slightly up. Next, once that one is done, I don't think the owls actually do anything. So I don't think you can actually die in this section, but head straight up. And there's the next one, but obviously it is kind of easy to get lost. So once you've stepped on the old owl wart. Next, head to the right. And after a bit of a migraine thing going on. And my brain cells. Head up right. And if you continue sort of heading up the screen. While keep walking right. There it is. There's the next owl GW. The old walk bag, so once that's done and you've got rid of all the pus and blood off your face and you've uh, migrained up your life again. Head up, again, directly up. And there should be the next and possibly final one, I believe. No, we're going continuing up and right. So basically, north... Northeast, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. Yeah, northeast, yeah. And there's the final bit. So once that one is done, that's all good. Now, bear in mind there are two achievements now related to this next section. You won't be able to get them both straight away though. So uh, the first one, we just have to be caught by an owl 15 times. Doesn't matter if it's the same owl, but we'll be getting that later. And then we have to complete this bit in under four minutes, which again, we'll get at the end of the game. So first of all, head to the right, interact with this first button here, and then head through the door. You'll have to press the A button and then the A button again to come out. Hit this next button and then go back through that same door because you'll head down and head back out. Head the neck, uh, hit the next button there on your left. Now, to the right, you can see a lever. When that ball at the top gets reaches the owl in the middle, make sure to stop it so it's pretty much just above the owl. That's important. Uh, head down and then quickly press the button there to your left to go back up and then you'll go uh, into this middle one where the owl's chair has now disappeared. Now the reason we have to do that quite quickly is because he will get up and with the reason we have to put the ball at the top once he's gone and starts walking to the left quickly go over to the right so you can pick up the uh, screwdriver or something go back to the left hit the button and then head back through the doorway. You'll head up Let's just wait now for the owl to nip to the right. We're going to need him to nip to the right so we can grab that blue Crystal ball of life. So once he nips off, again, if you get caught, you'll just start uh, back at the bed. Um, just to let you know that one. So quickly go over to the right, use the screwdriver, grab the crystal ball or the purple ball. Then ignoring the button, just head straight through the doorway to head up here. Once the owl's on the left, quickly hit the button on the left and then head to the right. Use the knife or screwdriver on the crystal ball and then stay here. Very important to stay here. The owl won't see you because owls are stupid, apparently. In fact, the witch was pretty stupid. She's seen us uh, quite a few times as well, didn't she? And she didn't even get us. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, once the owl nuts goes off to the left, we are going to head back through the door to end up in this uh, area, in the bottom left-hand corner. 
go back through that same doorway. And we're going to have to wait now until the owl goes back to the right, because we need to go to the left. Right, so once it nips past you then, quickly get out, head to the left, and then just interact with this lever, and then click it to the left two times. I don't think the owl can actually see you there. Um, I did get a little bit paranoid and came into this next room, but I don't actually think he can see you by the leveraging steering wheel. So don't worry about that. Um, but once you have clicked the uh, lever left twice, hit the button to go back up. And then hit this next button as well, so it is uh, the light is back at the top. Head back up. And then uh, head to the left. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the two crystal balls in, or whatever it is. And then we're going to go... We're not going to go through that same doorway, though. We're going to uh, go back up through the doorway on the right. Or, well, we're actually going to get caught. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get caught first. We're actually going to go now to get caught uh, by 15 owls, so... What you'll do is start off at the bed, continue to the right, and just keep getting caught by the owl until you get the Stealth Master achievement. Boy, it is late. Let's go. Boy, are you lost? It is late. Let's go. Boy, it is late. Let's go. And once you have done that 15 times, the achievement should unlock. There it is, the old Stealth Master. Okay, so now we need to not get caught by this next owl. So head to the right again. This time we're going to go straight back through the door. Almost got caught again, mind. Wait until owl balls on the right uh, will nip off to the right. And then we can head down. And this time we're going to go to the left through the crystal bald maze door. Right, so what we need to do, quickly press the button and then quickly hide behind the pillar on the left. And then once the old elderly owl goes to the right of us, we're going to head out, grab the key from under his, well, owl butt and hide behind the left-hand side pillar. And then once that is done and he's fallen back asleep, go to the left to uh, use the key to open up the door. And now the number is always going to be the same. So the number is 846, so you need to press the button once, and when it gets to the number 8, press the button again in order to stop it there. So now, and then press the button again, and then when it gets to number 4, press it again, although I do actually miss it the first time, but it is definitely 4. And then click it again and wait until it gets to number six and then click it again and that will open up the way and that'll be us out of here. So eight, four, six, and it will be the same number every single time. Right, so uh, once that's done, head to the right again. Uh, press the button once more and head straight through. And we'll end up basically the bottom. One, well, the owl's already on the left, so we can just head to the right and head out. And we are good to go. We're just going to nip straight in the boat and get out of here. Oh, what a crappy but very awesome kingdom if it was in real life. So for the last part of this chapter, then, you're going to get uh, sea creatures that are going to be appearing from each side of the boat. So you need to grab the lantern 
and whatever side that they are coming from you just have to hold the lantern close to wherever it is so obviously on the left hand side it'll burn and it'll go away so it's literally just a case of going from left to right some can jump up on the boat as long as they don't actually get inside the boat in the middle of it with you you should be all ready So we're coming up to one of the trickiest slash easiest puzzles in the game. It is generally easy. There are four stones we need to interact with and all we're going to do is interact with the first two. So the second stone first of all. And then the one to the right of it which will be the third stone. And that opens up the cave and gets us the this is easy achievement. See? Occam's razor. Huh? The simplest explanation is usually the correct one. And all that. Science is diff. Right, just head all the way to the right in the spookiness. No spookiness will happen. Why did you run away? The forests. The only ruthless priest. To some I am evil. I never doubted your ability. Welcome to my- Stop stalling! Where's- Ellie is safe. Oh, you are- Don't be afraid, come- Creature, maybe Ellie is somewhere near. Right, once we get to this area, there's going to be the third out of four wells to screen down. So, again, give it the old woohoo! 
Uh, once you've woohooed your way through life, pure sim style, uh, you can just continue on heading to the right, of course. So, there's a bit of a creepy house. Uh, we'll go into that in just a little bit. Uh, in fact, no, we're going into it right now. Sorry, we are going into it right now. So, go up first of all, and then up again, and then down once, down twice, to the right. And that is how you solve this puzzle, and we're in. We're into the Hausen Trousen. Okay. So, a few things we're obviously going to pick up. First of all, it's on the table directly in front of us, or just by the bed. Uh, head over to the, uh, we're grabbing a black tea pot on the right hand side table before heading upstairs. Go ahead and use the knife that we found uh, just downstairs in order to get rid of, well, he's more like a spineless jellyfish now. It looks like I and completely dead. So that's how and if you ever wanted to know how butterflies came into the world, this is how. Uh, so, interact with this guy. He is still slightly alive, but there's a couple of things that we need to grab first. Uh, you can try and use the teapot with him. It ain't gonna work. The tea didn't do anything, which normally a brew would wake me up from anything. So, you know, if we ever meet for whatever particular reason and I'm sort of half looking like that, go ahead, just uh, chuck me a cup of tea. I'll be fine. Just fine. <laughs> Right, so once they've nipped off to the left, we can nip off to the right. Uh, there's a big slab that we can't actually get through just yet because we need big beaver face right there in order to wake up. So head all the way to the right next to the broken bridge in order to get some mushrooms. And then what we're going to do is combine the teapot. So again, press the select button, combine the teapot with the mushrooms. And then what we're going to do is head back into the house, go upstairs and feed it to El Broski. Did you end? <laughs> I have no idea. Very young. By the way, if we, if any of us ever met her for whatever reason, please don't put mushrooms in my tea. That's gross. Right, there is an achievement now for um, uh, called the Caring Rescuer for waiting for the moment when the boy leaves. That is approximately 15 minutes. So once we get downstairs after the conversation, we just wait around for 15 minutes. It's going to, yeah, there's nothing you could do. Don't pause the game or anything like that. You've just got to wait here for 15 minutes and then we can head outside, come back, go upstairs and the Caring Rescue Achievement should unlock. Now, nah, obviously, just standing here for a full 15 minutes would have been p -p -p pointless. Um, so, obviously, I just did just edit it down slightly. Uh, but once the 15 minutes are up, um, now, again, obviously, you could have used a stopwatch or you could have, you know, it doesn't have to be, like, dead on 15 minutes, but it has to be, at the very least, 15 minutes. So, once that's done, head outside, head back in, as I said, go back upstairs and the Caring Rescuer Achievement will unlock and you've got sonic the hedgehog's original design uh when, when we go back downstairs sonic the hedgehog's original design is already dead uh but once we are here then uh go back upstairs sorry because we need the jar which the jar was by sonic the hedgehog's original movie designed 
head back upstairs, then go ahead and grab the butterfly in it. So once you've got that, uh, we've headed downstairs. We can now head out to the left and out of the door. Heading to the right and we're going to get beaver face on us where we will be able to start climbing down the ladder through the big old chunk slab. Okay, so we have to be quite quick here because there is going to be the spider chasing us. So when we can, go to the right, go through the door and close it. Go to the right again and we're going to climb up the ladder. Uh, press the button there to close the door and then go to the left lever. Interact with it twice and then head back up the ladder. Close this trap door as well. Then quickly head to the right in order to grab a key. Now, go to the left but don't jump down just yet. As soon as the spider crashes through... Then we can jump down. It takes him about five or six times to do it. So once he's through, jump down, quickly go to the left and interact with it. And to get the achievement here, we need to start running to the right. So run to the right. And there we go. The spider will catch us, but we'll get the achievement called Naive Boy. So now we have to do that whole little bit again. Seems a lot faster than when I was playing it, but anyway... Uh, but we have to do this bit again, uh, only this time we'll head to the left. So, again, head to the right, go through the door, close it behind you. Climb up the ladder and then press the A button once we get to the top in order to get the trap door down. Head to the left, interact with the lever twice to the left. Climb up the ladder, interact with the trap door again. Go to the right and grab the key. And then again, just wait five or six times and as soon as the spider pops his little ugly head through... Jump down. I got lucky with that one, actually. Uh, interact with the trap door to go through. Climb down the ladder and then run all the way as far as you can left. And then it'll be an automatic cutscene. Oh, gutting, mate. Right, so, since that one's ended, now we can head to the left. Interact with the princess. Hello. How do you know? Open the door. Why try to stave off the end? I already met two boys. Pay no mind to them. All the girls were- I wonder what- We do not know. What's your name? My name is Sophie. I am a mill. Tell me about it. I have nothing to hide. First, she taught- And during one visit- Let me free you before- you Unlucky brev. Okay, interact with the item on her, the letter or whatever it is. And then we can just solemnly start walking our way all the way to the right. Letter. What am I on about? The key is what we grabbed, obviously. You can't get out of a door with a letter. Right, so this should be the final screamer. Uh, scream down the well. So give it your final woohoo. And the screamer achievement should unlock. That'll be the fourth out of fourth one at done. Right, so there is an organ, um, which we're going to play. But we are not. We can't play it yet because we've got the sheet music missing. So head to the right and into the door. And then a few things we're going to do here. First of all, pick up the sheet music there from the bench. That's what I was trying to get at rather than looking at the stained glass. It's beautiful. Head to the right and then just next to this bit, uh, there's a little bit of a puzzle here. So we need to put it so the red dots are in a certain position. So the left one, make sure the red dot is pointing up. The second one, the red dot pointing to the right. 
the third one red dot point to the left and then the last one the red dot pointing up so up right left up yep yep up right left up all right now we're gonna get a another achievement right here so we're gonna head back outside and we're gonna play the Bach organ in or and get the Toccata achievement so pop the sheet music on the organ and it's just a specific set of buttons that you need to press um, so this first bit actually doesn't make too much of a difference I'm literally just um, so what I'm doing here is just checking out which ones work and which ones don't and then I ended up basically writing them down quickly so I can tell you which ones it was it, it, it they were Right, so let's get the achievement going then. We need to hit these in specific order. So there's 14 keys. So first of all, hit 14, 13, 14, 13, 12, 10, 7, 6, 7. And then it's as easy as that one. Um, Again, if for whatever reason the achievement doesn't unlock, just back out and try it again, and then it'll eventually do it anyway. Uh, so head back into the church here on the right-hand side. Nip over to the right, and we're going to use the elevator in order to elevate ourselves up. And there's going to be two achievements that we can grab here. So pick up the uh, torch, and we need to light up every single candle. So go ahead and just light up every single candle for the Let There Be Light achievement. And once you've lit them all up, then that achievement will unlock. And then what we need to do is blow out 50 candles. So you need to stay here. Um, again, completely up to you. You can either go and blow every single one out, but there's an actual puzzle that we need to do here. Light up some candles in a specific order. So that's why you just see me blowing out these two and then relighting them. So just keep going then until you blow out 50 candles and the dizziness achievement unlocks. So once that's done then, and the achievement will unlock, what you're going to do is light up the first one, leave the second one, the third, uh, blow out the fourth one, then leave fifth, sixth, and seventh, blow out the eighth candle, and then blow out the ninth candle as well, and leave ten, and then blow out the eleventh candle. So that's how it should be and then one for some reason random candle will appear in the middle of the map so we just need to get the elevator back down light it up and go for a very lengthy bit of dialogue I can see you. You're we didn't dare hope. We My name is La. We know since time. She a sorceress? So it's she's a. I met her recently. You are La. The girls we have. But how? There is a wizard. Five years. But even an immediate go to him. out. I sense. Boy, I fear good luck. <sighs> 
Now, in order to get through this next bit, basically our sister here is going to play the organ and then she's going to stop. So you need to uh, you need to walk to the left when the organ's playing and obviously stop when the organ stops playing. So you only get literally like a couple of steps, so just take it very gently and only walk when the organ is playing. Okay, so we're basically into the last part of the game now. What we need to do is, for uh, another achievement, head to the left and drown. We basically need to drown in every part of the swamp, of which there are only three. So head to the left, drown first. Head to the right, and then drown in this part of the swamp as well. And then we'll come back to the next one when we get through this part. So what you have to do then, there's a bit of a hidden path. So take your time, but there's basically going to be bubbles that you can see. Um, now, obviously, the bubbles we're not going to go in, so just take your time, look for the bubbles, and then don't go into the bubbles. Nice! Right, so once you've gotten through that then, just keep heading all the way to the right until you drown in the swamp again. And that will get us the Desperate Swamp Explorer achievement. Don't worry though, you will just start from this area again. You don't have to go through the bubbly path, death path. So what's going to happen here then, we're going to knock the door and a witch is going to appear. And what we have to do is hide in very specific and certain spots. So first of all, what we're going to do, when the witch starts coming towards us from the right, we're obviously going to head to the left. Now there are two bushes we're going to hide in, but we have to go between each bush. So first of all, hide in the very left hand side bush. Now your first instinct will be, let's just hide in the right hand side bush, but no, no. Because what she's going to do is come to the left. When she is on our left, we're going to then hide in the right bush. So get out when she's at the left, then head into the right bush. And she'll search through that one. When she heads to the right of us, get out and then hide back in the left hand bush. And then she will hide through that one. So again, you have to be very specific with that. And then she'll head off to the right. Don't follow her too closely, of course. Just wait and chill out for a minute. Uh, but knock on the door. And once you knock on the door, immediately head to the right ever so slightly and hide behind the log very quickly. Once she's nipped off to the left, even more so, jump out and head to the right. Now there's a tree in a bush that we're going to hide behind this time. So first of all, hide very much behind the tree. And timing is slightly a little bit tighter on this one, but you'll be fine, just fine. Although if you do get caught, you have to start from the beginning of the door section. But once it goes to the right, quickly jump up between behind the tree, go to the left-hand side of the bush. And then again, when, once she goes to the left of you, jump out of the bush and hide behind the right-hand side tree. Yeah. 
And then again, she'll just head off to the left. Old trunch nose. Conk nose. Conch shell. Magic conch shell. Right. Interact with the door for the third time. And immediately, once we've done that, hit, hide behind the plank of big log right in front of us. Because, of course, she will come from the left. That mashed me up the last time. So I was kind of annoyed about that one. And then just head to the left and do the trick with the bush again. So again, remember you're going to hide in the left-hand side bush. And then eventually old bugger, green bugger nose will appear. When she goes to the left of you, quickly jump out, hide in the right-hand side bush. And then once she goes to the right of you, jump out and hide in the left-hand side bush. And that will be that. Because once we knock on the door for the last time, the witch will see us, but we will have big bearded Santa Claus as our hero. Baby! It's been so long, another few months. Hello, I'm... Boy, I have the entire... Sorry. Never. Why did you choose to live in such an... I wanted to, but by... I came to ask for help. The sorceress you turned into a butterfly has gained power and has possessed my sister's... She wants to destroy the... I couldn't back that. What that loss has done. My beautiful daughter, it all began... That experience changed her deeply. She came to hate. With time, her son was attacked by I know the only she loved, but and then I had to lock. I could not bring your story. It's making. But does that mean you still have the cage and we can save the forest? Yes. You only need to open the cage next. Do you know? I came across... Say no. Okay, so here we are then. Effectively now at the end of the game. So we're going to head back through the cave once again. Now there are two options that you're going to have. One to break the cage and one to um, catch the butterfly. So for the bad ending, we are going to, when we get the choice, we're going to um, put our arrow to the left-hand side, which will break the cage. Um, but that will get us the dark side achievement. My boy, you have returned. It's so wonderful to see the whole family reunited. Father. My son. She took on a different- Lars, look at the- You have spent long enough rolling in the- Mother. The girls are only cleansing- What is that strange- Mother. Son. Papa, please, wake- Brother, don't do anything- You don't know what you're doing. Mother. Don't be afraid, my son. Let me help you become- Mama. My little one. Yeah, that, 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 no, he looked evil. Right, so anyway, back to chapter three, the very right bottom right hand corner. Chapter three, so we're back at the cage. Now, just go through the cave again, have the dialogue options, only this time you will be choosing the right hand side option in order to get the outcome achievement and the good ending.
My boy, you have returned. Father. My son. She. Lars. You have spelled. My... The girls. What is that strange? Mother. Son. Papa, please. Wh Brother. You don't know. Hooray! Everybody loves a happy ending. Right, so now let's get the uh, Light of Shadow achievement. So it's the penultimate one in Chapter 2. This is for completing the Sleepy Kingdom in four minutes. So, let's do it, baby. Okay, so once we get up and start, obviously we're going to head to the right. Again, you should have plenty of time in order to do this, but trying to get caught by the owl, that's all. Don't press the button, just head straight through the door in order to go straight down to the third row. Then you can press the button on the left, head to the right, and remember with this lever, make sure that the light is above the owl's head, or roughly about. Then quickly head back to the left. We are going to go down. You need to wait until the owl is at the left. And obviously it didn't work out so well for me this time. But once he's done, hit the button to the left, head back up. Uh, but it should be fine because the owl should now start walking to the left. Once he's done, head to the right in order to grab the screwdriver. And then head back to the left. Make sure to hit the button and then go straight through the door. Right. Again, go through the door as long as the owl is over on the right-hand side. Then use your screwdriver in order to quickly get the crystal ball going. And then quickly head back up, ignoring the button. I got away with that one just. Once the owl here is on the left, quickly hit the button on your left and then grab the crystal ball on your right. And again, you should have enough time, but stay here so owl bags don't see us. All right, so now we just gotta wait. And we wait. And we wait. Wait! <coughs> sorry. Okay, once the owl's gone to the left, head back through the door. I'm very sorry, I, I have no nuts. They haven't dropped yet. I'm still a teenage girl, boy. I head back straight through the same door. The owl was on the right for me, so I didn't have to wait too long. Interact with the lever here on the bottom left-hand corner, and then just wait. The owl won't see you. But I do want him to hurry up. Stupid sleepy owls. Go away. Anyway, once he does start going away, we can nya, 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 hit the button, head back through the doorway. And then we can hit the button again when we get to the next one. Z. Z. Sleepy Z. Head back up. Head to the left. Put the, both of the crystal balls in. I say crystal balls. They're just purple orbs or something. Put them both in. Go straight through the door. And you probably remember what to do on this bit then. Hit the button and then quickly go to the pillar on your left-hand side. There we go. And once that one is done... Quickly, once he goes to the right of you, go out, quickly grab the key, and then grab, uh, go to the pillar on the left. Wait for the owl man's two falls asleep again. Come in. Once he's done, quickly go back to the uh, cupboard here. Remember, it's the same code as it was last time. So it is 846. So again, hit the button, wait till it gets to the number 8. And then hit the button again, hit the button again, wait for it to go to four, and then hit the button again, and then the last one, go to number six. Right, so once that's done, quickly go to the right hand side, and press the button in order to get back down. 
and then head to the right so that we can head straight back. As soon as you get in the boat, the uh, Like a Shadow achievement should unlock. Once you jump in, should be good. So there we go. So that's it then. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game. Like the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out, as always, to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. I really do appreciate every like and every comment and everything. Uh, also, don't forget to check out my new True Crime and Gaming podcast, Gaming's Darker Side, on Spotify, Apple, and wherever you get your podcasts. So thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.